Is doing the crouch spam. He's ready for the shorty. And he's not looking to go to the club just yet. We're now seeing the push in. Shinobi's going to find one, but Wardell, he's waiting on the opposite oh. side. Just like that, blinking, you missed it. He'll be taken down, down to two final members here. For the it shouldn't be left. looking like round one here for Cloud9. Yeah, left. maybe deal a little, little damage just like that. The burst out of the classic from Hayes taking care of tens, but. You, you assume, remaining. given what's going on, the Cloud9 should be able to take this round away. They invested into the Bulldog in round two. It's paying off. That bad boy bites, and she hurts. Ace is going to go a bit more aggressive on the side of that B, um, what you, lobby, oh. I guess, platform, whatever you want to call that, just to make sure there's nobody rotating around. So it looks and like they've committed to this. Oh my goodness. But freaking TSM is just mowing them down through the smokes. It's already two kills where Cloud9 has been taken out, and they haven't even stepped foot on the site. They haven't seen anybody, Simo. Yeah, very well done. Sabrosa gonna cap that one off as well. Down to two final players. A heavy investment this round. You can see some of the assault rifles were in the hand of Cloud9, but now it may be the better. It's, it's, it's also interesting to see that they're very comfortable uh, with pushing their economy to the max. The fact that they've invent invested into stingers and light armor, they're willing to really bring the issue. Now Tens is gonna upgrade. That is not who you want in the hands of a Phantom. Haze is gonna be able to at least spray through the smoke and convert onto a trade. Now the 4v4 retake here for TSM. Cloud9 gonna get that spike down. And ultimately on this ego, that's all they wanted. If they can get a couple of frags to boot, they are gonna want that. And so far, it is really panning out here for Cloud9. Certainly more than worst case scenario so far for Cloud9. Again, ideally you get a pick. Maybe you get the spike down, whatever. You cut your losses. But so far, things are sitting pretty for Cloud9. It's gonna drop down to a 3v3 Wardell and the rest of TSM trying to push through. But Tens, who else? But Tens already three on the round. It looks like the spike is gonna go off, folks, as it continues to tick away. Cloud9 robbed TSM blind out of a situation that really shouldn't have gone their way. I mean, it's 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 the Tens factor. It's something that it, I don't even need to tell you that he has the highest no KD match. on the team. Run I don't even need to tell you that he has the highest kill per round in the tournament. I don't need to tell you he's got the highest first kills per round. It has been used from the Killjoy as they try to establish some semblance of control over on the B site. The problem is, he, Cloud9, excuse me, TSM can sit on the outside of that ult and still deal damage. Cloud9 Ten has already lost left. one. Once Get again, it's going to be a late spike plan spike as plan. TSM has to fight for the retake. Whoa, Wardell from Rage goes vertical. One more final time. One updraft left in the tank. And he's going to find Vice. Now it's the 5v3 Cloud9 in a very tough spot. Relics is at least going to make it even. Shinobi will participate in that as well. Now it's down to one more frag if he can find it. I know the conversion exactly. would have been very helpful. TSM now in the lead. Now with the man advantage. Shinobi able to nullify it. Down to Cutler. The spike left. as they would like. Now, once again, we find ourselves in a situation where there are only 30 seconds left. Cloud9 oh, still no. has not gotten the spike down. They've got to bust the move. Wardell is able to take care of 10s. Jet on Jet in favor of Wardell this time. Cloud9 is just down to two members left. As TSM continue to look to hunt no, down the members of Cloud9. The spike is over on B, left. but there's the Hunter Fury. Mitch is able to take care of one, but Wardell once again leaves Cloud9 and shambles. The spike's going to go down. Oh my gosh, the health bar of Wardell goes down as well, but TSM, but Drone, excuse me. <laughs> TSM starting to invest a lot of their resources over onto B because it looks like that's where Cloud9 wants to go. But TSM's not going to have the numbers yet. Wow. Nice use of utility there, clearing out the back, the back of that site there. But Hayes is holding fast. They do have participation from the rest of the team. Now going to start to funnel over from the A site. Still not concerned or uh, convinced that it's going to be a B site hit. But it's been pretty consistent for Cloud9. And we talk about how fast their TSM plays towards that B site. Cloud9 tried to hit the A site, but it didn't really work. Here. They tried and tried and tried, and it didn't really work. The fact that Cloud9 have been able to make a dent thus far, TSM may be a little hesitant, but no, they're going to come into this B-side retake. It's the 4v3, TSM down a member, but it might not matter when you've got Wardell in the mix. He's going to find tents. That's the jet down. Another jet still lives. Wardell brings it down to a 3v3 as the spike ticks. Pressure gets intense. TSM needs to get involved. Wardell, he's going to be stopped here by the aftershock. Cloud9 are willing to die on the site. Now as he jumps in, he's going to get shot no. down. Find Shinobi down to one final player. He needs to defuse. But that's going to be a swing for Relics. He finds them all. He finds many gun rounds can Cloud9 pull out on the opposite side? How many gun rounds can TSM pull out? We'll have to oh. answer that question later. As Wardell's like, you're going to have nothing to do this round. We're going to get the ult orb. We're going to take out two of your members. And we're going to look incredibly amazing doing it as well.
What an aggressive look out of TSM. We haven't seen something quite like that yet. Simo, where they just fully invest and rush aggressively into a site, and it pays off. Cloud9, again, with not a ton of guns to work with, Enemy kill. find themselves down as Can't far as personnel know. goes. They do still have the Blade Storm. They do still have the Showstopper, but, well, now the Blade Storm's out of commission. They have that ultimate, but surely you don't want to use it in a situation like this. See what they Page end up picking up. Hayes is going to be the first contact point here for TSM, but he's just holding on, trying to survive. There's a lot of flash from the site. Frenzy is going to do some damage on Hayes, but it's just down for Relics. And unfortunately, the ace last time not going to be the case this time. His pants down. Hens is going to take him down. Wardell waiting in a very cheeky position. We saw Caboose last time really be an impact player from the wine cellar. He's going to do exactly that this time around. Tense is going to get involved. Updraft goes up. He does have the place storm available if he wants to use it. Unfortunately, not going to as Wardell's stuck in a little bit of a tough position. The flash is ready. This is how you deal. Instead, it's the fall line. Holy smokes! Wardell's got to run. He did not anticipate that. He's going to be taken down by Tense. Now, 3v2 still doable for TSM, but the spike's planted and a retake has to come. Spike planted. Uh, Cloud9 just showed us the ideal way to deal with an operator, right? Like throw CC at him, force him off of that power position and then take care of him. And that's exactly what Cloud9 did. Because of that, they were able to get the spike down. They find themselves at a numbers advantage. TSM are gonna be coming from the same spot too and they know where they are. Sabrosa gets taken out. Tens is gonna get a shot at it, but they're just buying time. Tens with the 4K with the ultimate and with the guns they have at their disposal to get the spike down. Oh, Tens is going to push in aggressively. The door gets closed. I find that very interesting from TSM. Willing to play the retake, and boy, will they. Look at the TSM players starting to zero in on the position. They're coming from the catwalk. They're coming from A-Main. They're coming from all possible angles. The spikes were planted, so TSM need to hurry up. They can't stall this push any longer. They need to get back in onto the site. As Sabrosa takes down the door, he doesn't have enough bullets to transfer. Tent is ready and waiting for him. And now it's down to three players here for TSM. Cloud9 are more than comfortable with dying on the site here as this is the last round of regulation. There's no weapons to save. There's nothing to be left. It all goes down to this half. Relic's gonna shoot in that showstop, but can't find anybody. So preparing now for the push. Drone's gonna find one. Drone's gonna find two. It's looking great. Mitch's gonna find a second. Wardell's up above, and they clutch things out. They turn it all the way back around. TSM tie us up. Round, so they're not gonna have a ton to work with here. Oh no. No way. Oh my gosh, you can't you can't write this stuff. You can't make this stuff up. She he's anybody to get one. And Tens with the judge. The anvil drops oh. and the sentence has been delivered. But the sheriff puts him behind bars. Wardell is able to take him out. What a response from TSM. Yeah, this is a round that you don't want to lose too many members from Cloud9. And TSM have proven that they are not only thrifty but well equipped on these ecos. There are no slouches when it comes to any weapon you give them. They have all the tools of the trade. And they're ready to bring out that arsenal right whenever, however. TSM looking for a late round push towards the A site. They're going to go all towards A main and not take the ult orb. That would give away their position. They may look for it at the end there. And now Cloud9 might have a little bit of a better idea. 30 seconds that ult left. Orb. With 30 seconds left on the clock, it's pretty telling. I think this might be the A site hit. Fault line comes through. It doesn't tag Shinobi. It does tag Relics, but he's able to at least survive for the time being. Now it's still close. It's going to be an opportunity for Relics to come in. Sprays down two. One more player remains. Of course, of course, it's Wardell. He does not miss. But now Cloud9 really do miss the rest of their team. They're going to be looking for the retake to try to take Wardell down. He's got a Sheriff, and he's not going to have it for long. Vice <laughs> takes him out. Into the positioning of Sabrosa. He's going to be hanging out in the piece of shop, hoping to find some success. But unfortunately, he's pinched like an Oreo sandwich. He's the cream in the center, looking to try to take out some of the cookies Spike on the outside. Him. He cannot. Nobody can take him down. Down to three here for TSM. Weapons upgraded as well for Cloud9. TSM do not want to be in this position. Wardell smoked off, so he's got to be a little bit more careful. But he's going to develop a little bit of a Venn diagram on the, on the ground as well. Trying try to Run find some success. He does momentarily. Shinobi will be the one that falls. But Vice, Mitch, and Ten. Get some true room control. This is huge. But... Oh, Relics. Relics and Shinobi are both there to cause problems. Wardell is at least going to answer for the sins of his fallen comrades, but he's the only one that remains. As Relics and company will be able to stop them dead in their tracks. Tense. Rosa is weak. He doesn't have a, a ton of health. 
to his name. You see Tens is already there. He's going to get flashed out. You hear the spike has begun to plant. Tens spots left. one. Tens takes spike one. Plan. As he's going to oh. drop down on the side with the blade. Oh. So he gets up close to personal, man. but he's not able to take anyone out. Shinobi answers the call. He stops the push. TSM's just down to Sub Rosa. Cloud9 plays that perfectly. But it did not work out that way. He rotated early and he found himself. Now looking at the second test of this round. Shinobi once again, oh Shinobi! Gonna find two, they're gonna push in. Looking for the third half of the Logan Clinton run One right now. It's end of turn to have a little bit of fun. This cloud swung a little harder on his neck. Of course, Bind will be coming up next. Already Wardell out of commission. He'll have to sit the rest of the round out, as will Sabrosa. Down to the 3v4 as Cutler now puts himself in a position with the rest of his team to play in the back of the site. Under three now here for Cutler. He's looking to try to tag up a couple of members. Maybe he sees someone on the opposite side. Oh, he's going to oh, wow. find one right on to Vice. That might be the ticket here as now they start to come through. Hayes has to back away. A lot of injured members here for TSM. Really One heavy. shot, and they're going to be as good as gone. Now the push-in comes in for Cloud9. Paranoia Hayes, Last unfortunately, enemy. can't see a darn thing. As Ken will be able to send him down to the graveyard. Cutler in a 1v2, or should we call him the Clutchler? Unfortunately, this time we will not. Cloud9 for Cloud9 will also get a new look as finally a little bit of a different composition. Mm -hmm. Vice on the Sova, Felix on the Phoenix, and a little bit of a, a, a different change than what we're normally used to. All right, so so we're getting something a little spicy here, right? The oftentimes when we do see a change on this Cloud9 uh, composition, it's because we see tens on Reyna instead of on Jet. But this time we're seeing something a bit different. Super excited to see how this plays out. TSM is going to be starting on the attacking side as they work their way towards Hookah. Mitch gets taken out. Unfortunate circumstances, he gets punched in the face. Wardell gets in on the action as well. As ladies and gentlemen, chaos ensues right outside of the teleporter. One member left on the side of Cloud9 after the dust settles. And it's Vice with the Frenzy, who already has four. Looking for the eighth. What a start to the map, baby. One Phantom into this round and four Spectres across the rest of the board towards the full rifles. Uh, of TSM, so you gotta give them the nod down. here, but, well, of course, as I say that, Relics is able to get one, Tens gets one as well, Wardell's gonna trade it out as they shimmy their way onto that A site, Sub Rosa, working his way through U-Haul, Wardell is there as well, Relics trying to flash off, trying to keep things at bay, while he waits for his teammates to arrive, and Simo, they're gonna be coming in from both sides. I love how Cloud9 play the flanks. They are already committed two members towards that short side. And as a result, you're seeing TS TSM trying to anticipate it. They're being pinched. Once again, I feel like Cloud9, I should call them the Oreo team, because they sandwich every single round. But this time, TSM are able to at least fight back. The smokes are down. And now we're seeing a little bit of a teleport play there from Sabrosa. But unfortunately, he's down and out for the count. All down to Cutler. Shock Dart not going to connect. But Cloud9 should be able to push him out. The Nano. You, you said it best. You run the risk of things getting a little out of control here for TSM, and they don't have a ton to work with as far as artillery goes. Fortunate there for Shinobi. They really want that Jump's weapon. Over. Hayes gonna You're pick dead. it up. Once again, the Venn diagram on the ground. Cyber Cage is all around. They're now gonna start to push in. One of backs dealt with, and so is Hayes. That brand new weapon, that shiny new car, has already been totaled. Now back to the shop with you. The rest of TSM holding on to this A shore position. Cloud9 no longer looking for that sandwich. They're gonna retake accordingly. Cutler finds a shot there with the Sheriff. Things are now looking a little bit better for TSM on this Eco. And we've seen how these 50 rounds can really slip away from Cloud9. There's a three before they push in. Tensile trade. Wardell with two. That's going to be down to the 1v2. Mitch just trying to survive as he sees Wardell up above raining from the sky. And now to Rosa. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Almost slips away. But the 50 rounds. Tail it over towards the A site where we have Vice. Tens, but nope, they changed their mind. <gasps> Wardell gonna find a late round Missing shot there with the operator, but still flash means Mitch will be able to convert. Nano Swarm to stop any aggressive looks. Jumping 30 seconds Uruka. left. TSM down to three. Man advantage to Cloud9. Turret will spot one out, but it looks like yep. a late round portal play is possible. No Full 20 way. seconds, it's no now way. or never. Now they start to come in. Hunter's Fury no from way. the side of Fletchler. He's gonna start to do some damage. Does not find anybody, but the trade for trade. The 2v2 now is all that remains. But 10 has arrived and Vice has got his Ten own. Seconds left. Hunter's Fury, the Blade Storm will fight. Now it is TSM that'll have control of this A site. Down to, of course, the 5v4. Still Fight very plan. doable here for TSM. But it all depends on these next few seconds. They're pushing in tens, repositioning, still alive, buys himself milliseconds of time for the rest of the team as they start to push in. Vice versus the one final player, Sabrosa. 
and it's Mitch that'll dispatch him accordingly. A very quick well and who else but so Rosa he's gonna be the first one to see members of cloud nine rotate their way over the problem is the sandwich team themselves cloud nine are gonna be pinching in from the flank as well they've managed to get onto the site they're gonna get some info there so Rosa spots not able to get a kill but gets info they have lost heaven control now as they start to come in, War Down loses a crucial gunfight. Now it's down to the 4v2. Sabrosa will at least be able to nullify how Wardell was not able to find that frag. Now it's down to the 3v2. They got to defuse the spike. Sabrosa will answer back. Now it's the 2v2. The spray here from Sabrosa. He wants to try to stop the defuse. But Relic is going to come in from behind. The spray almost doesn't secure it. But Shinobi alongside Relics will be able to secure that sixth Round, the diffuse is closed. So you rotate back, and that's exactly what Cloud9 does. Now TSM's gonna get onto the site, but they only have eight seconds, and Vice stops it dead in its tracks. Wardell is able to get However, and he's got the office want to take care of Vice, but no, TSM gets taken out. Shinobi, the IGL from Cloud9. They've waited. It looks like, yep, this one's gonna be hot and heavy, but Tens. Oh, Tens! Tens is able to mow them down, looking for a third, not able to get it, as Sabrosa with the Guardian makes it sing. Wardell's able to get one as well as Cloud9 are just down to three members left, but Vice picks Sabrosa apart before he even gets a chance to get onto the site. TSM down to two. Yeah, the Shock Dart will do a little bit of chip damage as they're just trying to free fire Cutler with the Sheriff. It's traded back from Mitch, but now the Wardell factor is in play. He's going to find that one early on to Mitch, down to the 1v1. Wardell up against Relics. Wardell going to play 30 the seconds game left. as is Relics. 30 seconds left on the clock. If Wardell opts in to go towards that B site through the portal, there is a turret and there is an alarm bot waiting for him, but he is going to look for the frag instead. Relics waiting with the angle, but they just see each other like ships passing in the night. But now it's daytime and there's 14 seconds left to plan. Wardell sprints on over left. towards the site. He's going to be stopped here by the alarm bot, by the turret, but he's just going to dash on through looking to get that spike planted. Oh, wow. Relics now in position. Planted. He gets it down with two seconds left on the clock. The flash comes through, but Wardell does not get flashed. 74 HP, the dream as now comes oh. the nightmare. It's Wardell, scary sights for Relics as Wardell. The Rolling Thunder, and that's going to give them access on to A. Bye. Okay, Sabrosa, he was trying to stop the flank coming in, or st sorry, stop the retake coming run. in from the defender spawn, the lockdown is going to be a problem because they have to get rid of it. They're going to use the Hunter's Fury to do so as Cutler is going to be able to take it down. They've got a Hunter's Fury of their own. Vice just trying to track Cutler, almost finds him, almost finds Wardell as well, but now playing close is going to be Drone. He's waiting on the opposite side. Sabrosa was waiting and playing this angle last time. Now as Vice starts to come through, can a multi kill come through for Drone? He's hoping for it, finds two in the round. Can he find another? Yes, he can! Give it to him! Drone with three, it's down to ten in a 1v3 scenario. If there's anyone on C9 that would want in this scenario, it would be tense. Now Wardell peeks out from the side. That's the Tailwind to dodge it. Tailwind after Tailwind seems to be a skill matchup. First step, winning the following round, absolutely insane as well. But now wow. it's on TSM to hold fast. Very well done there from Tens to stop Wardell from, to be honest, popping off. He had the Blade Storm. He was hoping to Tailwind updraft into the Blade Storm and absolutely dunk on Relics, who's waiting on the opposite side. But with every dunker, there's going to be a point guard to help assist. And of course, Tens was there and able to stop the dunk in the process. Cloud9 now with the man advantage, looking like a great round for them, but an aggressive push up the shower. Shinobi is going to be able to stop it. Sabrosa just trying to run away, just trying to escape, smokes himself off. The spray gonna. It looks like it connected, but unfortunately, Sabrosa is still relatively alive. Now he's going to feel a little bit more pain. 37 HP remaining. Can't really do a whole lot about that. Cloud9 on the precipice of a flawless round as TSM just trying to figure out which site it's going to be. Well, there goes the flawless round. Hayes is able to get one. He's also going to upgrade his weapon as Vice starts spike to plant planted. the spike. This was a gun round, folks, and it was a disadvantageous gun round for TSM because they were bringing in SMGs, but... A gun round nonetheless as Cloud9 find themselves up considerably in personnel. Just just two members hanging out over on the site. Relics, yep, here we go. He's gonna go into Crash Beer Road. Some Rose is gonna get pushed back by the shock dart and the guns of Tens. Relics manages to get on there, but Tens is able to take care of two. TSM down to three. Such a standard play there for Cloud9, and really a standard play on Mind. Using the push anytime soon, at least for the early rounds. Rosa trying to play close to the 
smokes, sprays through on the fence, does land a couple of shots. He's just trying to run out of the clips, oh. run it dry. But Sabros still survives. Tens is like, I'm not going to let you live. Tries to get the goal, but loses it. TSM dismantle Cloud9, but it's part lead down now to a 2v2. Spike likely going down shortly, but they need to pick it up first. Wardell still alive. Shots with the op ringing true. Has the blade storm available if he really wants to cook things up. Wardell Spike gonna play this patiently. He's gonna play it carefully. Wait for the peek there from Relics. I wonder if there's a curveball left in the tank. That would be the way to take care of the Relics. Shock dart gonna hurt just as much. Shot's gonna almost ring true. Wardell down to just one single digit HP. That's the op shot that'll connect, but the time is ticking. Vice has won many a clutch. This may be another one for the bag. TSM. They don't have a lot of information on the site. They still have a lot of time, but the spike is starting to increase in tempo. And that is a glaring sign that TSM need to act. One is defusing. Spray from Vice. Shock Dart's going to help out in that process, but he's still alive. Oh. Still defusing. Bros don't fake and pros. Cloud9. Nowhere to Consistently run. playing it slow. We're going to see the Hunter's Fury there from Vice. Just try to clear out the lamp side. Unfortunately, nobody's home, but there is. It's a Broza. This was not within range of the Hunter's Fury there. Now just trying to escape. Once again, a plan wants to go to the favor. Hayes mows down to Cloud9 on this gun round. Not looking good. Once again, these A site hits have been less than desirable for Cloud9 as TSM have been very successful 30 in seconds holding left. off the push. The spike, spike will go down, but a 2v4, very difficult here for Cloud9. Hey, I mean, they have an ult, but it's not one that's really going to be very helpful here as members of TSM all start to rotate and all start to funnel over. Shinobi, who's had a slow map, he's gonna hit a good paranoia. Looks like he's gonna try to tell you back behind them. <gasps> oh no! He's not canceled oh! oh my gosh, Shinobi does it! Ladies and gentlemen, drops it down into V2, somehow stays alive, but Cutler stops it. It looks dicey for T. Going towards this A side, getting that spike down, and TSM will have spike to play. Oh, Shinobi gets a huge pick onto Wardell on the opposite side of the map. That's going to give them the numbers advantage. Cloud9 has the Blade Storm to work with, but Sabroza trying to play in aggressively, seeing if he can clear out that U Haul space. Checks the first 50. So far, so good. Mitch. Out. Oh, they go. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's able to get one. He's wow. able to get the second one as well. Mitch does it again. TSM just down to two members left. TSM with Hayes. He's holding things down up in heaven. He's got a Phantom to work with, but they know where he is. He's been flashed out as well. T Cloud9, excuse me, have personnel for days. Mitch is certainly weaker, but the spike just continues to kick. <laughs> Cutler's able to take care of 10 playing aggressively there, but the round is going to go in favor of Cloud9 oh. and Freak. Oh, that might be play but he's looking to get involved. Vice, oh, unfortunately, man. blinded by the light. He's going to be sitting out for this round. Cloud9 now down a member, looking towards his A-side once again. What a good entry from TSM, man. They're picking him apart all over the map. The impressive play from Wardell. Then Sabrosa gets one as well. Now, T Cloud9, excuse me, have managed to get onto A you yet again, run. but Shinobi playing this a little no bit further back. Run. The problem with that lockdown is that TSM can still play from heaven. They can still hold down the pipes area and try to work those angles. Additionally, when you've got the Hunter's Fury, you absolutely nullify that, that move, that ultimate. However, Cloud9 have decided that they're going to rotate over to B. TSM sniffs it out, however, and they're on the flank, Sabrosa. Sabrosa's on the other side. Sabrosa's able to get one. The Rolling Thunder comes out as Tens dices up Wardell. A 3v2 in favor of TSM, and Tens does it again. He's the last one standing. However, in a 1v2, he's got an operator. He's got the Blade Storm. He hasn't been spotted. Wow. He's able to get one. I got the spike. 30 seconds left. So the shot! Ten! Ten! Oh my god! You can't rule out the Wardell factor just like that. You can't rule out the tens factor either. He finds a 4k in a round, but TSM Wardell already finding an early pick. Has to be good news for TSM. Ten's now gonna sit out. TSM likely on the precipice of winning another round. Oh my gosh, Wardell, Wardell already with four with the operator as he has single-handedly taken apart Cloud9. Mitch, 
the last one standing. He seems to have picked up the operator. You presume that he wants to save this here. He's nowhere near the spike. AB gets a pick. Oh. Yeah, he gets it through the smoke. Sabroza gets taken out. But Sabroza pushes through the portal. Now to SM. They've got a sandwich of their own, but they're trying to clear out one of the cookies on oh, the other wow. side. Relics will be able to deal with him. And now it's the 5v4 retake for TSM. The problem is for TSM, they're all going to be pushing it from the same, from same side. There is no flank. There's nothing else to really keep Cloud9 on their toes. TSM doesn't have the numbers advantage, but they've got to bust a move. Ladies and gentlemen, Cloud9 looking to push this thing to match point. Mitch is able to take care of Haze. Mitch looking to get a second, and Mitch lights up the kill feed yet again. But Wardell with the Operator, able to trade out Relics. A random tripwire still around. TSM backs off. Ladies and gentlemen, Cloud9 at match point. Not only round, oh the alt points will be at half, but let's put that on pause as we're seeing the involvement from Wardell. He inches ever so close to the showers, but he's gonna have to wash that one off as tends to take him down. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Cloud9 have defeated TSM, the last two best of threes that they've played, and so far, they're, they have the lead. They're one round away from doing it yet again. TSM down a member. They do have the neural theft, which is huge if he's able to get a body, but Relic spots one, tries to tag him up. Sabrosa was able to get away, but certainly a bit worse for wear. The spike from Cloud9 has not made it onto the site yet, as it looks like they're, they're thinking Josh's. twice about it. They're starting to rotate out of showers. Drone and Sabrosa, especially as the rounds have started to lay on, have been playing this lamp side together. Normally it has been Wardell and Sabrosa, while Drone having more of a focus towards the B site. TSM have been very comfortable in the late round theatrics on the A side. As we've seen, Cloud9 have just barely ever been able to make it on the A side, but this is going to be one 30 of those seconds times. left. If Drone and Sabrosa can hold the line here, TSM can bring us to OT. Hayes taking a look. It's a Guardian, Sentinel over that A short area. As it looks like that's exactly where TSM goes. And oh my gosh, the CC was huge. Sabrosa with a three piece mows apart Cloud9. Left. Ladies and gentlemen, this looks all but inevitable. Cloud9 doesn't have the spike, they don't have any control over it. Exactly are you not you are. entertained? We're going to overtime. TSM is never going out. You know, TSM, they are never done. We're now looking at the attack plan here for TSM. Shinobi gets into a very cheeky position. Unfortunately, Kulter's going to help out, but that's the spike down. So far, it's been trade for trade down to the 2v2, and both Tens and Wardell are out of commission. It's down to Hayes and Sabrosa on the opposite side. It's Shinobi alongside Mitch. Mitch has had a spectacular performance, but once again, TSM just, they've got, they love this, this they love this remaining. granny, and so is Mitch going to feel it. As Sabrosa is going to take him down. Spike still not planted. Shinobi has to clutch things out. Azed. Going to still play it slow. Now he comes through. The shots are good from Sabrosa. The tag there. The attempted tag there from Hayes. Now as they start to push it. Pandemonium is about to do it too. Hayes is going to be traded out. And now it's the 4v4. Tens is a little injured as is... Oh, sorry, that's Wardell that is injured. My apologies. Tens and company now in position. Spike still not planted. And that's because they know that TSM is on the site. They're sending Relics to do the dirty work. He's going to be pushing in from the shower side. Let's see if he wins the gunfight. Oh. He does not. Sabrosa holds fast. Now Cloud9 are down a member. Still holding on in this late round position. Trying to get that spike planted. Wardell up above. That's a very interesting paranoia from Sabrosa. But nobody swings into it. Tens! Oh boy! Wardell going to sit that one down. Now they're going to rotate on over... Cutler, can you hold down the Cloud9 offense? Cutler, 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 no, Cutler's not gonna do it. Shinobi takes care of him. They're gonna get onto the site and it looks like it's gonna be planted. A 3v2 in favor of Cloud9 as they looks to extend this map. TSM just down to two members left. Drones, one of them. And Shinobi, excuse me, Shinobi's on the site trying to keep things at bay. They're gonna smoke off the entrance. Now Sabrosa is gonna peek his way forward. Shinobi's gonna be the first one there, but all the timing! Sabrosa happens to take to be fine, but Tense takes it out. Drones is gonna trade that back out. Drone drops. Cloud9 for B. This time it's over on to A. Cloud Nine's gonna get onto the site for free. Yeah, they'll find an early pick as well. Make that two. This is looking like another overtime round, unless Wardell can do what Wardell does best. We're gonna be looking at Sabrosa, making Spike his way planted. through the market, maybe hoping to find some late round flanks. 
post plant positioning, but Tens is waiting. And boy, does he have the presence Here. of mind to wait. Back into the smoke, Tens goes, as he oh. will just barely pass Sabrosa. Well, on the opposite side is about to be Tens. They swing, Sabrosa finds him. That's big for TSM. Now as they retake the site, the Tens factor is out of commission. We'll see now as they start to push on in. Mitch, Mitch has done it time and time again, but this time he's taken out. Shinobi, however, the IGL for Cloud9, looking to keep things alive, but he's gonna get taken out. Cloud9 just down to one. Vice, in a 1v2, one knows exactly what both of them are weight squads. And neither of them show any willingness to back down. Wardell goes aggressive, Wardell takes out Relics, but tens. Responds with an operator of his own. Last time it was Wardell who rolled the die, but this time, it's Tens, who ten, who's able to make it sing. Vice gets one as well. TSM just down to three members left. Shinobi does it, but Wardell is able to take care of business as Sobrosa joins down on the party of straight up 2v2, ladies and gentlemen, but Wardell. Wardell drops Cloud9 just down to one, and it's Mitch. Wardell is injured. Sobrosa looking a little better. Mitch gonna be coming in from that heaven side, and that's exactly where the attention is focused on. Wardell about to peek, sees the ponytail there. A couple of sprays, the tailwind will get him to safety. They hop over towards the B site. There is a nano swarm there. He can activate it from range. And an alarm bot as well. They'll be able to take care of it. Now they can't really plant the spike. They'll at least be able to get it into a decent position. Left. Now Mitch is forced into the 1v2. It's a one-way smoke, so he's not really interested in pushing that. Wardell, very injured. Mitch can just spray correctly through a piece of cardboard. He's going to find himself at least one pick, but Wardell plays it passive in the hookah chain there as he sits. The Sabrosa will be working his way through the elbow, but still has to touch his knees and toes to find the frags he needs. Mitch now going to be looking for the defuse, playing it slow, looking for picks. Can't find anybody. Wardell about to look, peek through hookah, but does not get spotted. Now as he tries to jump out, shot's going to be good. Down to the 1v1. Sabrosa behind the tuna can. But they just Imagine barely pass each other. Now Mitch is just trying to stick to Diffuse. Thinks that Sabrosa, this bind map, has to come to an end eventually. But I just want TSM to win so we can see what map 3 looks like. Come on. This series, this map in particular, has to be a convincing factor for wanting that third map. And Cloud9, they don't. They don't oh, want no. it. And now as the paranoia comes, ooh, oh, the hole is the line. He's able to spray down one tenth. Taken down to injury levels. Now as they start to come through, Sabrosa will be stopped. Now Cutler pushes forward. That's a spike down. And it's a 3v3 remaining now with Cloud9 up against TSM. Vice is able to pick up the spike and search for a over. Oh, Wardell is waiting for Tens with open arms and an operator to take care of him. Cloud9 just down to two members left once again to try to keep this map alive, to try to take care of two is TFSM and 2-0 the them. But TSM once left. again with the numbers advantage. 30 seconds left. Cloud9 trying to work their way up a short. There's the cage. It's going to give away all of their positioning. It looked like Bitch was able to get through into U-Haul, and they're going to take the telly out. Hayes is still there, however. Doesn't matter. Wardell is not there. That's all that matters for Cloud9. They don't want Wardell to be a part of that car. Excuse me. Side. Cloud9. Er, excuse me. TSM. Going a bit aggressively here towards mid, but Tens and Mitch just pick them apart. And now the Lear comes through. They want to participate. Hey, that's just a scary sight for TSM. They'll at least be able to put one on to Tens, but now it's just down to the Snake Lady who. Hayes has made his way all the way up, and Cloud9 will see if they react to it accordingly. They do have Mitch waiting on the opposite side. He's in a pretty good spot. Wardell's going to be taken down. He can convert onto the second. Sabrosa now going to work all the way back around. We'll see how much damage Cloud9 can do as it's just down to two players with Spike behind enemy lines. Yeah, but Sabro Sabrosa opted to go in aggressive there and see if he can maybe left. catch somebody else lagging, but now he's going to show up late to the party. Last Fortunately for him, landing. TSM has been able to hold things at bay so far, but now Cutler drops. Sabrosa is the last one there. He's got a Phantom. It's a 1v2. It's certainly not out of the realms of possible, but it's far from easy. Oh, Vice spotted him. Spike. Relics repositioning. Spike picked up. Ten seconds he needs left. to get the Spike planted, but guess he's waiting in the smoke. Yeah, it's Relics. A tough round. Very crucial. It's the passive B site play. Shinobi finds the Litter King Sabrosa. Cloud9 pretty disconnected from sites altogether. TSM will hit this B site. We do have Vice waiting on the opposite side. Like clockwork, TSM will dispatch TSM.
haven't rotated. 30 seconds left. Tends to pop the Empress. I'm a little bit afraid now about what's about to happen. He's gonna find one. Invisibility pushes him forward. He's gonna get to safety oh. with Relics, and he escapes. BHP is all that remains if he finds this pick. He can heal up, but he can't. Relics will find two. You don't need an Empress. Now the show's not for comes through. That's gonna be the dunk. And now with 30, 13 seconds left Ten on the clock, left. Cutler will be able to take him down. Spike, unfortunately, in a tough spot. Cloud9. They need to get there first, and they need to take down Cloud9 in the process, but it's not off to a hot start on the side. Oh, oh gosh, T freaking Cloud9 again, and I know it's not a gun round for TSM, but the way they're winning these rounds, Simo, is just so dang impressive for Cloud9. So Bros is the last one standing. Relics continues to pat, to, excuse me, pat seven. There. Simo, they, they haven't been able to get anything going at all, and it's been on the back of a couple of different looks. We've seen the Viper Spit, we've seen aggressive pushes up mid, we've seen delayed pushes, and it looks like that's exactly what we're going to get here on B, but once again, it's a save round for TSM. Cloud9 continues to make a statement! Yeah, one after another down to one final player, Sabrosa. A flaw. Lose the coin flip pistol, and it... Conventionalism says you lose the next one as well. There's there's no amount of utility that can save you from that. Shinobi is able to take care of Hayes early on. TSM once again at a numbers disadvantage. Great control there from Relics up above from Heaven. Now Shinobi actually pushing forward right in the sight line of the crossfire. An opportunity here for TSM, but unfortunately Sabrosa caught in a little bit of a difficult spot. The red carpet rolled out, but nobody's starting to walk it. Wardell peeks on in. Guess who's on the other side? It's Cloud. Nine down to throw headshots to connect down to the one v three. Find the second, find the third. Are you kidding me? Down to the one v one, coming in from behind. It's relics playing the tower. Spike is taking the throne. Slows things down. Guess what? Aftershock surprise. Now he's playing behind the map. Shots going. Cloud Niner stacking towards this garage side. The thing is, these pistol rats have been so electric between these two Cover teams that you feel the weight of being down 10 to so much more going into the second half. You lose this, you're probably going to lose the next one, and all of a sudden you find yourself on match point. So TSM have to figure something out here. Cloud9 sitting very comfortably. Trade in the middle as TSM fight for that control war. Dell and Drone waiting on the opposite side, and... That is one scary combination you do not want to mess with. A flash and a bloodthirsty Wardell on the opposite side is not someone that you want to cross paths with. Now Relics yeah. and company. Relics playing the information game, Boys looking to door. try to pull TSM away from their comfort zone. Wardell on the opposite side will be right where he needs to be for Cloud9 to hit this B-side. Remember, this pistol, very volatile, but Cloud9 and TSM are playing this like it's any other round. No way. All right, here's Wardell. Has spotted three. He got tagged up left. a little bit, but the Scouts are going to try to create some space. Mitch takes him out with the frenzy Not yet again. Ace gets two of his own, looking for the third. Give it to him, baby! TSM wins the pistol. Troll or get information. He's playing this one out slow early on. Oh my gosh, what a big pick. Wardell with the op is taken out. Relic's actually going to continue that fire. Oh, hey. He's still alive, though. He's going to try to escape. There isn't a lot of presence towards the middle. Oh, psych. Yeah, there is. Sabrosa going to be trying to cut off the rotation towards the B site, but little does he know they've already committed. Relics is going to be playing this late push in towards heaven. If Cloud9 can push quick, hit fast, then Hayes is going to have to re-rotate over. Sabrosa will at least find one. That's the spike down. Hayes is going to be Stop. Relics are pushing forward so far. It's still the advantage for Cloud9. The op in the hands up above. Color just trying to get an angle, but the spike is about to be planted. Gonna use the nano to try to deny it. Vice is still gonna plant it, still going to commit it and survive. Now the retake here for TSM. So Broza had a good flank there. He was behind all of them, was able to get one, but then the rest of the flank fell apart. Cloud9 was able to take care of him and get onto the site. They have the numbers advantage. Mitch. Looks like he's going to get a chance here on the two members of Team Solo Mid. Cutler and Drone slowly working their way around that corner. Mitch not even able to get one. Cutler's able to take him out. It's going to knock things up at a 2v2. Drone flashing his way onto the site, but Tens is there and Vice follows up. 11 to 4. But they lay on the hurt this time and they don't lose any weapons. That's probably key. It already starts off quite well. They might oh, lose wow. here, but the is fine. Somehow survives and somehow doesn't get 
hill. I thought for sure Relics was going to get it. There's the two. He is able to get one. Wardell swings. Wardell not able to land the shots. He's going to offer the classic. Backs off as he reloads. He's going to go aggressive under Relics. He's able to take him out by swinging with the Sheriff. Wardell gets the best of them. The rest of Cloud9 work their way onto that A site. That flank could prove to be disastrous. A Shinobi goes aggressive. aggressive excuse run. me. He's able to take care of Wardell. And left. Hayes Cutler drops as Final well. Planted. Now Sub Rosa joins the party, but it might be too little, too late as Cloud9 continue to push the situation. And yeah, they've got a lockdown here as well. Sub so Rosa and Drone really bringing on the hurt. No players have been detained there from the lockdown from. Cutler. Now it's down to the 1v2 shot. It's going to be good now. It's just down to the 1v1. The drone is injured. If Mitch could just perfectly play this out, buy some time. The plant is perfect. The nano swarm, he can't really opt in to fight it. I think there may be another nano swarm in the tank. We're about to find out. So That's it. That's the jump peak. There's the defuse. Mitch now trying to play it. Shot's going to be good. There's not really a whole lot drone can do. Still in the back pocket of Cloud9. They now have three that they've amassed as they look to put TSM away. Oh, they're going to get uh -oh. onto the site, but Vice was able to get the first. Wardell taken out. Cloud9, they should be able to get onto A. But there's the clutch factor. He's waiting in the corner. He's flashed, and he's holding on. They flash once. Will they flash again? Empress is pop. Ken's pushing forward. They need to get rid of the clutch. There is he's waiting in the corner. Oh. Lines two. That's big. Drone will help out from the side. And now it's the 2v2 as Mitch will dispatch. The down remains. to Hayes. Down to Drone. Just down to Hayes. And he's late to the party, but better late than never. It's down to him in a 1v2. Spike about to be planted for Cloud9. This could be series point. Map point. Spike down. And now it's all down to Hayes in a 1v2 scenario. Can he bring you this around? Run. Oh, there's the lockdown as well to buy some time and to force Hayes the round. You've got at least six more seconds that you're going to work with because you know he can't push into that. But he's got to go here. Oh, 1v1. Fire! Doable. No! That's what they get relics. Showstopper as well, waiting for somebody to peek out. A bazooka in his hand. Guess who's there on the opposite side? But it whips. Now it's down to the 1v1. He's just trying to run. No! He's just trying to hide. But you can't run from Hayes TSM. Stay alive. I can't freaking believe. Perfect position here. Trying to back away. Puts himself in a little bit more of a better crosshair placement. But Mitch will dispatch of him with the, sp the stinger. Sorry. A couple of upgrades now. 4v4. Pushing onto the site. Lost here from TSM would be deadly. Hayes gets sprayed with the flash in the eyes of Mitch. Oh, now it's Mitch jumps down. Guess who's there? Guess who's waiting? Oh. It's Sabrosa, but he still falls. The spike is down. A 2v2 cloud nine up against TSM. Now the spike is planted. 14 seconds left on the clock. After shot stops the plant. And, and he left. takes relics to boot. Now all they need to do is swing, but Shinobi looks clears the wrong angle tsm once again steppens when you guess you don't know you have no idea cloud nine have rotated towards the b site they have found sabrosa they've broken on the spike will be planted tsm now in a late round retake and here's spike planted freaking use the rolling thunder man i've been setting you up for the last five rounds they've managed to get onto the site they've managed to get the spike down you should run it's, it's going to be there on the flank but they're going to be met with an opposing lockdown, that's gonna force them off of the site. TSM, patiently oh, relics is able to get one with the stinger. There's the rolling thunder, it's gonna be traded back as both teams avail themselves of that TSM. Just down to three members left as they fight to get to overtime, but the gun from Cloud9 may be too much. As TSM just down to two members left, relics gets onto the site, and ladies and gentlemen, Cloud9 do it again! The third best of three in a row against TSM, and they best Team Solo mid.